Welcome to another edition of Affiliate Tips here at the Athlete Programme. My name's Owen, and today we're going to be looking at movement, scaling options and progressions that you can use in the classes at your affiliate. We're going to specifically be looking at the strict handstand push-up for today and some scaling options and progressions that your athletes might find useful. So we're now going to look at a few reps of a traditional push-up with mats. She's going to start in her plank position. The shoulders are going to be aligned directly above the wrists. The midline is going to be nice and tight and the weight is going to be on the toes. From here, as we descend to the bottom of our rep, the elbows are going to stay nice and tight, close to the body, and the midline is going to remain tight as we press up to full extension. As we move down and up, the shoulders, the hips, the knees remain in a nice, tight line. We're going to progress from our traditional push-up to a pike push-up. For this, I'd advise using an ab mat so that your athlete has a target for which they can aim for in their head position. We're gonna set up with the hands one inch behind the front end of the ab mat. We're aiming to create a tripod to the point at which the head meets the mat and the hands of the athlete. They're gonna start off by moving into their plank position. We're now gonna create our pike shape by tiptoeing our feet towards our hands. We wanna take our feet as close to the hands as the hamstring length will possibly allow. From this position, we're gonna load the shoulders by shifting our weight forwards over the fingertips. We're gonna tuck the chin on chest. We're gonna descend until the head meets the mat and press straight up, the head coming through the arms at the top of our rep. One more time. And relax. We're now gonna progress the difficulty by taking our pike push up from the floor and having our athlete place their feet on a box. Mads is going to show us the setup position. The toes are going to be aimed for the center of the box and the hands once again are going to be one inch behind the front end of our ab mat. From here, the athlete is going to get their weight onto their tiptoes and tuck their chin on their chest. The final thing we're going to do is load our shoulders by drifting forwards and then start to descend. The head is going to move down to the mat and as soon as we feel the mat touch the head, we're gonna press back up to full extension. We're gonna to aim to make sure that we're in a nice, tight body position and that we're maintaining this pike all the way through. The next movement that we're gonna look at in our series of progressions for the strict handstand is the strict handstand push-up itself. You can start your athletes with an ab mat or even with a small riser underneath the ab mat and you can progress the difficulty by adding plates either side or even move into a deficit. From here, your athlete is going to progress to their handstand position. We're looking for a nice tight body position similar to our pike that we saw earlier, with the feet together and the legs nice and straight. We're going to descend to the mat, and once again, as soon as we feel the head touch the mat, we're going to press back to full extension. One more time, and relax. We hope that you found these handstand tips useful. Let us know if you use them in the classes at your affiliate and don't forget to like and subscribe.